these jokes are like buried treasure. Gems hidden beneath the surface. They're a lot of fun. Hmm? Well, which part didn't you get? Okay, I can explain it for you. Not every General Mahamatra would take such a clear-cut and decisive stance when faced with a conflict between order and justice. He must know only too well that compromise is a path that leads to a dead end. So it's extremely fortunate for all of Sumeru that he's now been able to return to his rightful post. The Forest Watchers played an essential role in helping the rainforest to withstand the withering and continue to flourish, and Tainari is the best of them all. Still, I do hope he learns to be a little gentler with people. Otherwise, it's gonna be difficult for the Forest Rangers to attract new top talent. When I heard her story for the first time, her tenacity shone through like a dazzling gemstone. She's been through so much. I hope that just as the rainforest supports all kinds of life, Samira will always provide a safe and nurturing environment for her, so that she can grow up healthy and strong. He holds a body of knowledge more advanced than most could imagine, and his mind is constantly thinking, so maybe nothing in this world could ever fool him. But is the wise man truly wise to view the mediocre majority as defective? Because without them, there is no us. I once borrowed someone else's body to ask her if she'd mind allowing Lesser Lord Kusanali to watch her dance. Actually, I had already watched her lots of times before in secret, but I wanted to attend her dance at the Subzerus Festival properly, in person, as a sign of respect. Anyway, it turned out that she gently declined the offer. I was a little sad about that. The first thing she said when she saw me was, Nice palace, how much? Of course, I couldn't possibly sell her the sanctuary of Surastana, but still, her question had me stunned. I thought about it long and hard, but I still can't figure out how much more it's worth. He has an almost perfect grasp of what it truly means for Sumeru to be a nation of wisdom. Sadly, the truth as he understands it will never be accepted as the mainstream. Hmm? He's roommates with all Haven? Wow, the world really is full of surprises. She is suffering from exposure to remnants of King Deshret's power. It's as if the Great Tortoise of Time accidentally threw her off its back and left her suspended in the past. If you're interested, you should be able to catch a glimpse of Sumeru from a bygone age through her. I'm led to believe that long, long ago, the Seven Archons used to stay in regular contact with each other. I'm a bit of a special case though, so I don't have any memory of that time. Now that things have settled down in Sumeru, I think it's about time I made contact with them again. You're on familiar terms with some of them, right? Would you mind introducing me? I hear that playing games is a good way to quickly bring people closer together. I'm sure it must work for gods, too. How about... Once everyone meets up, I suggest we play hopscotch together. Hmm, on second thought, maybe not. If I draw the squares, it will look like I made them really small on purpose just so I could win. That wouldn't be fair on the others. When he finally achieved the ambition he thought he'd been pursuing all along, was he content at last, or only emptier still? We only yearn for the skies because we cannot fly. Hmm... Perhaps he should reflect on this once he has held the sheer emptiness of the skies in his grasp.